I would like to talk a little bit about what is important of doing retreat. I did retreat when I was uh, 13 years old. I want to do retreat. No one order to do retreat. And this is almost like my, kind of like my hobby. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. It's, uh, it's when I was eight years old, you know, when I was young, I wanted to retreat. I want to go to the mountains, go inside the cave and meditate there. And I want to spend more time to do retreat. And that's, some, that's kind of like my personal um, wish or my, I like special about that. And in general, doing retreat is very, very important. Uh, because in the, in the Tibet, many, many great masters, they do retreat. Some of them, they spend half of the life to do retreat. Half of the early life, they do retreat. And after that, then they benefit from many, many people. And what we call, first, liberate yourself. Liberate yourself by realization then you can help to others. Then others can get also realization. The true wisdom, the true compassion, true wisdom, and they really help others to open heart, open mind, and to achieve freedom of itself, to achieve libera liberation. For example, like Buddha. Buddha was spent six years of retreat. Before that, Buddha went to many different places, learned many different dharmas. But why Buddha become Buddha? Because practice, meditate, and do retreat under uh, near a river Nerajan. Nerajan. A river Nerajan is in India, near Budgaya, and Buddha did retreat there for six years. And this way, and after that, Buddha become a Buddha. And there's many, many stories in Tibet, like Milarepa. First, he did 12 years, very serious retreat. And after that, almost his life spending retreat. And this is why, in general, retreat is very important. My father did a lot of retreat. My grandfather, half of his life spent retreat. He's still alive now in Nepal. And... Um, my uncles and my teacher Sajid Rumbuchi also. This is why I'm really inspired to do retreat. And why is retreat is important? Because the causes for the negative emotion and the clashes, bad karma, you know, bad actions, uh, suffering is three. There's three causes for the bad actions. And, and negative emotions. First, what we call the object is nearby. The object is nearby. For example, if you have anger and the person whom you don't like is near you, then you get anger, you know, oftenly. Oh, whenever you saw that person, uh, especially if you have enemy, <laughs> oh, you know. But this is why the object of anger is someone you don't like. An object of desire, someone or something which is you really like. If that object is nearby you, also a problem. This is why there's first, uh, first causes for negative, negative and um, bad actions. And second is... Uh, what we call not abandoning, not abandoning the root of negative emotions, or not abandoning the root of ego. If you already cut the root of ego, which is you already achieve high level of realization, then even you are in the situation, there's object of desire, object of 
anger, no problem. Because you're already cutting through the root of ego. Then no um, negative emotion, no bad actions, no problems, no sufferings. But if not, it comes. And third is having a wrong motivation. Wrong motivation means, oh, if I have opportunity to beat that person, I'm going to do so, you know. And that kind of motivation. For example, even the object is nearby and you are not cutting through the root of emotion, but if you don't have that mistaking motivation, now I'm not going to steal that things. I'm not going to lie. Even I have opportunity to lie, I'm not going to lie. Then no problem. But if you have that wrong motivation, if these three together, then make problem, obstacle. Bad actions, bad karma, create crazy negative emotions. That's why, but if you don't have one of this, one of these three, then the causes is not strong, or there's no enough causes, then there's no result. There's a, for the retreat, you don't have first cause, the object is nearby. So you don't have objects nearby, you are solitary, you close the door, and you're by, your, you're by yourself, and now what do you have? You have full time to practice. You're not busy with the mundane life. This is why it's very good for your practice, really develop. But if you have good, motiva- good meditation within you, then you don't have the, the last causes, which, what, what I call no wrong motivation, you know, no mistaking motivation. Even objects nearby, even you are not cutting through the root of ego or clashes, emo- emotions, it's okay still. And if you can transform everything into meditation. This is why I'm not saying if you don't do retreat, this is why you have no way to become, you, you, have, no, you have no way to achieve high level of realization. I'm not saying that. If you are not doing retreat, this is why you are not Buddhist. <laughs> I'm not saying like that. But doing retreat is really, really beneficial for the practice. And why we do retreat? To benefit for others. Because if I have more experience, if I have more realization, this is why I can share my wisdom, compassion, good experience to others. This is a benefit more. Others, I know many little, little things I can say, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 nice things, but if I don't have really deep experience, realization, no really benefit. This is why retreat is important. This is why I want to tell you a little bit about what is retreat important because since this is Shirabling and I did most retreat uh, here, most time. I spend most time being retreated in here, in here in Shirabling. Okay. See you next time. <laughs>